In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Cosmo Note Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about the notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. So a couple years ago, Yamamoto Paper put out this fountain pen paper sampler pack. And what it was was something like, I think five sheets of 18 different types of what I would consider exotic Japanese paper. So there were two different types of Tomoe River in there. And I believe there was Mitsubishi bank paper in there. But all the other ones were ones I'd never really heard of. It was a pretty expensive thing, but I mean, you got to try all these really interesting papers. So I still do recommend that to people that are interested. I think it was $40, something like that. You can still buy them a lot more places, carry that fountain pen paper sampler now. I went through and I, I tested all of the papers and I think most people that tested all the different, all the 18 different papers that were in that sampler really liked this one paper called Cosmo Air Light. And I believe that was generally considered the favorite. It was the favorite of the 2019 San Francisco Pen Show. Most people really, really love that paper. But the problem was I'm getting to try all of these amazing papers, but now what? I don't want to buy blank sheets of paper, loose leaf paper. I don't really have a use for that. You know, if I'm writing a note or something, I want nice stationary something with some decoration to it, not just a blank piece of paper. So I tried all these amazing papers, but what do I do with it? Well, now we have Cosmo Note. This is about as good as it gets, at least in all of the paper that I've tried ever. And that includes Tomoe River. It includes that Graffilo notebook that I really, really liked. This is kind of the new gold standard now that we have it in a notebook format and a really nice A5 notebook format. So anyway, I just wanted to give a little bit of background about this paper. I know a lot of people will have tried that Yamamoto sampler set, but now we have something that is usable, something that you can use every single day, and I'm just super excited about this. All right, let's get into the proper walkthrough and show you the paper tests and all that stuff. So here we have the Cosmo Note notebook. This is, as I said, a very special notebook. It was, you know, the best paper, the 2019 San Francisco Pen Show. It's A5 size, 176 pages, and it's the Cosmo Airlight paper, which is an 83 GSM paper. And here it says accessory, you get kind of a, a guide sheet. It's a thicker sheet that has 12 millimeter rule on one side and a six millimeter grid on the other. On the back, I'm guessing this is actually the price. So the retail price maybe in Japan is 1600 yen. Anyway, it's, it's made by Yamamoto paper. So let's take off the jacket here. Now, looking at this, this sort of coverless, you know, mesh spine thing looks very much like a Midori MD notebook. And when I did the, the video for the Midori MD, I was saying how beautiful I think this notebook is and how nothing really else looks like it. Well, now we have the Cosmo Note, which has definitely taken that minimalistic cue from the Midori MD. I do still find that the Midori MD is maybe a bit better looking. You know, here we have rounded corners, whereas these are sharp, and you have this nice bookmark detail on the MD, which you do not get with the Cosmo Note. But otherwise, I'm very happy with the aesthetic that they chose. This looks really great. You have Cosmo Note here engraved or with like a gold foil or hot foil stamped. I don't know, I'm just saying words that I've heard before, but it's like a gold foil here. Very smart looking. Nothing else on the back. So let's open it up. So this is the guide sheet. And as you can see, this is a 12 millimeter rule. That is huge. Really, really thick rule. Not sure why they chose that. And then on the back here, we have a six millimeter grid. Here we kind of have this textured paper. It's nice, it's interesting. I 
I don't think you could write on this. I don't know, it's weird. And then we go right into the blank pages, and this only comes in blank. But you can see here, it is see-through enough that you can use the guide sheet. I think the guide sheet works quite well. And that is pretty much it. There are no other features here. It's just blank paper. So let's go into the paper performance. Now anyone that had the Yamamoto sampler know that this is really, 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 really excellent paper. You can see we don't, you don't get a blotter sheet with this, which would have been nice because it's a, a somewhat of a slower drying paper. But anyway, let's take a look here. So there's nothing. There's no bleed. There's no feathering really at all. The interesting thing, like the Copic here, I'm not sure if this is feathering. This is just like ink pooling on the paper. I don't really think that's feathering exactly. But everything else looks totally phenomenal. You can see this Diamine Bloody Absinthe ink is a sheening ink and you can kind of see how well the, the sheen works with this paper. Really, really nice. Now on the back, this is easily the best paper that I've tested on this channel and that I can really think of. This Copic sketch performance here it comes through just ever so slightly. Copic makes, and so just so you know what I'm talking about, this is a Copic sketch marker. Uh, this is an alcohol marker. Really, really nice uh, marker for drawing. I'm not an artist, but I use them for coloring because they are so nice to use. Alcohol markers are really nice, and these are kind of the, the nicest ones that I've come across, the tips are replaceable. So you have a chisel tip here and a brush tip at this end and they're replaceable and the pens are refillable, so whatever. Um, if you're interested in drawing with markers, I, I really do recommend checking out the uh, Copic sketch. But Copic makes their own paper, or they don't make it rather, there is a company in Italy that makes Copic's sketch pad and it's a one-sided paper. You can only use these pens on one side of that paper. And even on that one side, you still get basically spotting that kind of looks like this. So this paper, in my opinion, is pretty close to as good as the as Copic's own paper. So really, really impressive. If you look very closely at the Sharpie, you can just see it sort of trying to come through. You can write on both sides of the paper with Sharpie with this paper. It's amazing. There is no other bleed at all. And this is really not, I don't think it's really fully penetrated through to the other side. Really phenomenal performance. Ghosting is not bad. Uh, again, it's 83 GSM. So it's definitely, you know, better ghosting performance than you get from... Well, obviously, Tomoe River 52 GSM and a lot of other fountain pen friendly papers. I uh, hear you can just see, you know, with writing on both sides, it's really not bad at all. Yeah. Let's see if we can't get it to bleed. So I'll use my Mont Blanc OBB nib here with this Irish green ink and we'll just really put some wet stuff down here. So I'll do this as a double pass on the bottom here. And we can do another double and try a triple pass, see what happens. Okay. You can see it's still quite wet. And I can see it wrinkling a little bit, just it's absorbing that. So I've let this dry, and I accidentally touched the other page here against it. But anyway, it's basically with three passes uh, with a really wet nib. I mean, I just see this one tiny little spot here, and that is it. So really really good paper performance. Uh, th this is the best that I've tested. This is a better performance than the Graffilo notebook. It's 
really, really excellent. Binding wise, 12 signatures. It's just like the Midori MDs. Yeah, so it, it lies really flat. This is, I think, the new, the new gold standard here. It's really excellent. And again, it's also pretty affordable. I mean, that Graffilo was, I think, in the 30 or $35. This is $18.75, so yeah, I know which one I'm buying. It's also a, a format that I like, A5 is a, a perfect size. So what are my pros and cons for the Cosmo Note notebook? The biggest pro, obviously, is the paper. This is some of, if not the best, fountain pen friendly paper I have ever used. It even works with Copic markers, which is really, really impressive. The Sharpie also works, not that you would use a Sharpie on a notebook, but you could technically with this one. This is a really, really special paper. It has a nice texture to it. It is definitely on the smoother side, but I would say it's not quite as smooth as Tomoe River. It's made really nicely. It does have a very, you know, Midori MD kind of look to it, being that it doesn't have like a, a proper cover, you just have this webbed material here. The binding is really good, just like on a Midori MD notebook, and it's only 18, a little under $19. So this notebook is probably my new favorite notebook, and I don't use the word favorite very often, but this is really, really phenomenal. Now, in terms of cons, getting this notebook is tricky. JetPens here in the United States sells these. I've never been able to buy one from JetPens. There, they go for $21, but every time I've checked, they've been sold out. I bought this from a store in Japan, uh, which had very expensive shipping. So I bought several of them to help with the shipping cost, but getting these is a little bit tricky. I think that hopefully we'll change and we'll be able to just get these as easily as we can get to Moe River notebooks and all the other great fountain pen friendly notebooks that we now have. So right now, a little bit hard to get, but I don't really have any cons. I guess the guide sheet, 12 millimeter rule on one side, that's a little big, but you can make your own super easy. The grid is six millimeter, a little bit bigger than normal. I don't know why they chose that, but whatever. Really, really grasping at straws here. Just the biggest downside really is that the availability of the notebook. That is the Cosmo Note notebook. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much, and until next time.